Hello everyone, welcome again to GoLeopards.com as we look forward to a trek to Pittsburgh where the Lafayette Leopards, 0-3-0 on the season, will take on the 0-3 Robert Morris Colonials. Hello everybody, Gary Laubach along with Mike Joseph. Just again, another quick preview about uh, this Saturday's ball game. But Mike, again, let's reflect back a little bit. The Lafayette Leopards with all these freshmen and sophomores playing and the juniors and seniors all playing well. Uh, Frank, I think for the first time in the in the tenure that we've been around, more depth than I've ever seen. Uh, it, it's everywhere. It really is. It's on special teams, and, and you see it. We just talked to Mike Bowles, a linebacker, and uh, uh, a lot of kids getting in there and making contributions. And for the first couple of years, Coach Devani always talked about what a young team they had, and they would get better. Well, I think mm -hmm. we're seeing the fruits of that labor right now. Yeah, no question about it. Uh, you look at a play by Chris Brockman, a freshman, the way Kyle Sikowski played uh, this week as a freshman, and the list really could go on and on and on. But, uh, boy, you have to feel real good when you know you can just about put anybody in there when you need fresh legs and they're going to produce. Uh, yeah, and they're, and they're competitive within themselves, which I love. And I love the way that secondary is kind of feeding off each other. And, uh, you know, the defensive line, when they don't get there, they know the secondary is going to make a play. And when the secondary lacks, maybe this, the linemen are going to get there. And uh, offensively, you got a lot of guys up front. We haven't talked about much about that offensive line, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. they're starting to gel. And I think we're going to see some better running of the football in the next couple weeks. Well, we've got a legendary coach to face this weekend, 19 years at the helm, the only head coach. Robert Morris has ever had is Joe Walton. I know he's a guy that you know very, very well, and uh, he's in his last two years as a football coach out there. He's going to retire. So Joe Walton, uh, you know, you respect him, but you certainly you don't want to lose to him. No, you don't want to lose to him, but at the same time, you're kind of in awe when you think about his resume and what he's put together. And uh, uh, he's just, it's going to be a pleasure to go out mm -hmm. there, and we're stepping into Joe Walton Stadium. So uh, another situation where, uh, you know, Lafayette has a chance to play a team they haven't played before. Uh, so there's some question marks there, but it's going to be a pleasure going out to Pittsburgh. And it's going to be a pleasure, too, for Coach Tavani, I think, because he has never been 4-0 in his career. He's been 3-0 and twice, but has never started a season at 4-0. and And uh, that's a message I think the players need to get. And maybe uh, the old win one for the Gipper. Let's win one for the Coach Tavani. That, that's a, a locker room thing right now, and I think a lot of people, they know that in there, especially those seniors. Uh, and Andrew Shoup uh, um, came back a little rusty last week, but I think this week we'll see uh, the real Andrew Shoup. And I think we're going to see him a lot more accurate. I get a little bit of a gut feeling, too, our last observation before we get out of here, that maybe this is the week our rushing attack picks up and, and maybe comes out and helps win this football game. Yeah, and I think they're going to put a little extra emphasis on that in practice this week because they're going to have to run the football at some point in time and move those chains. The third down conversions are not good right now, so you think maybe some smoke and mirrors, but there's a lot of things going well on both sides of the football. Well, game time is 6 o'clock in Pittsburgh. We'll be on GoLeopards.com free of charge. Mike and I will be there, so please join us in Joe Walton Stadium. I'm Gary Laubach. Thanks for joining us.